Hey everybody, today I want to talk with you about my prayer journal and my art uh, journaling Bible. And the first thing I want to do is to thank Renita Todd because she shared with me her prayer journal and uh, she just has the most beautiful prayer journal. Um, she does a lot of the artwork herself and um, uh, it's just so inspirational and she has things broken down into categories so well and um, it's um, it just keeps her on track and so I took a lot of my inspiration from her and she's just a fantastic lady so I got this um, old notebook at a thrift store and I really loved it you can tell it's pretty old and uh, it came with paper in it and it is perfect so what I've done is in this very front is my pencil case and then I have my tabs for what I want to pray for and uh, the first one just says pray I can't hardly read what I read what I wrote. Praise, family, my husband, my children, my church, my friends, my neighbors myself beyond these things like government and uh, the world scripture I can put here quotes and art and so I can use the paper back here or um, I can use like um, printer paper and just punch holes in it but it has about everything that you want um, to pray for covered in a tab and um, you can uh, just write lists of people like um, Lily Bug Wayne Lala has a, um, a uh, positive thoughts and prayers um, time every week where people send in uh, a message to her that they'd like to be prayed for and uh, you know that list could be put in the book or just your family anybody that you care about that you want to pray for can be put in here you can write your own prayers anything that you feel like you want to do to help your prayer life can be put in here and it's just uh, not trying to take away from your heart, but it just helps keep you on track some. And for me, as scattered as my brain is sometimes, I really need the help. So, uh, once again, uh, Renita Todd has so much to do with this, and uh, I appreciate her sharing hers with me. And so, I have that, and then the other thing, uh, I had been waiting to share this because I ordered a, I just, opened, I just opened the box, I haven't opened the Bible, but it's a journaling Bible, and I haven't even taken the thing off of it, but I want to show you the cover is leaves, I think that's really pretty, and then inside you have a lot of space on the one column it has lines it's for um, writing notes but I saw this um, I don't know how new it is but I just recently saw where people uh, will take a scripture and they will paint something to go along with that scripture in the large column and highlight the scripture and all that and I want to use this apart as a part of my prayer journaling because 
um, as I'm doing my painting, I can remember the things I want to pray for and just pray as I paint. And uh, if you have not seen um, the uh, Bible art journaling, you could look it up on YouTube or just uh, on the internet in general. And it is just fantastic the way that um, people do that. And um, now I can't find, oh, it's over here. The first thing you do when you um, do your Bible art journaling is you put gesso down so that your ink doesn't go through onto your other pages. This is what I've learned, which I'm sure there's more than one way. But then um, I have watercolor pencils that you can like color with and then put the water uh, once you color or you can just run your brush over the tip of the pencil and get your color that way. But um, here are the watercolor pencils and so it won't be really dark with these. And this is the paintbrushes I got the other day that I was saying, I got them at Dollar Tree that I was saying I had a project to use them with. So this is what I'll be uh, doing it with. And I did print off a few uh, things people had done, but it's much more beautiful in person. But like, um, here is one, and this isn't for everybody. There's some people that feel like writing or uh, coloring in your Bible is not the thing to do, and and I think that if that's how you feel, that is fine. I take nothing away from you. It's just I feel like it's okay uh, to do it. So anyway, here's. One, of course, it would be smaller in your Bible, and I won't go through the whole stack, but um, that could go across the bottom of your Bible, and I'll just show you one or two more, and then that'll be it. Here's a cute one. And, um, and here's one more. So, uh, anyway, I'm happy to share this with you. And um, I'll have you all in my prayers because I think each and every one of you is very special. And you mean a lot to me and have sent such... Um, sweet messages and you just really brighten my days and, and make me feel so good. So anyway, that's it for today and have a great evening. Take care of yourself and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.